Now, before I start talking about this person, I just want to settle some pizza. See, this glorious shit will always be better than fucking nasty ass Chinese food. Huh. One moment. Mmm. I don't know how people eat Chinese food. That shit smells bad. You're gonna get it from some B-rated place, I know. It's just shitty. But I'm not here to talk about food. I'm here to talk about the top 10 most iconic Kingagers. And at first, I thought I was gonna let people vote and I was gonna be nice and be like, oh yeah, you can vote. But then I realized that most of y'all opinions are usually fucking wrong and half of y'all fucking go around putting your foot in your mouth every fucking minute you get. So I'm just gonna do it on my opinion and if you don't wanna hear it on my opinion, who Coolness234 thinks are the most top 10 iconic 10 gators of 2016. <sighs> then fucking don't watch. And I don't have to have time for your bullshit. I realize that no matter who I put on this list, no matter what I say, no matter how many people I talk about, people are going to be butt hurt. Because people are always motherfucking butt hurt when I'm vlogging. So, here's the thing. If you're going to get salty because you're not on the fucking list, you're going to get salty because someone you don't like on the list, and you're going to get salty because you just hate me as a fucking person, I don't give a shit. All right? And if you're going to act like a little shit on this blog, I'll filter you because I don't want to see your motherfucking comments. And if you don't want to hear my motherfucking comments, don't watch. Now, the reason I chose Skylar1882, I think that's her date. Skylar1880 some numbers. I don't know. I'll figure out when I tag her in a fucking second. It's because Skylar is one of the most well-known Tengagers of this year. And she does it by being nice. She doesn't do it by being a bitch and a bitter cunt like I do. She is genuinely an all-around nice person. Someone if you haven't talked to, you need to fucking talk to. Because I have never heard Skylar say anything negative. If she's going to have to say something to you at all, she's going to come for you with straight facts and she's going to sound so nice as she's motherfucking snatching your weave off your motherfucking head. Skylar is risen to 10 gauge stardom doing something that most of you can't do by being an all around good person. And the thing about it is she doesn't have to be nice nowadays. She could be like you little cretins and be using the F word and the N word and do whatever the fuck they want and send in whatever prepubescent booby pics they want to anyone. She could be doing it. But no, she has class. She has style. Not only does she play one of the... I played with her as stars. I went anom. She played one of the best first-time games I've ever seen and played one of the best games out of people who have played before. Bitch is smart, all right? Bitch is classy. Bitch is nice. She is someone that you should all strive to be. I don't have a bad word to say about her. And I don't think anyone has a bad word to say about her. And most of y'all know who the fuck I'm talking about. So she will cut. She will. Blah, 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 blah. She will start number 10. She will be the first countdown. For number nine, we have an iconic 10 gauge couple. I'll let y'all ponder that. 